Organizing an event can be a challenging experience. It gives you a lot of wonderful lessons. Be it organizing a concert, a convention, or a conference, first-time event organizers always find that experience daunting initially. I was in that spot when I had to organize my first no so social media night for my high school student council. In 2017, I was once again in that spot when in a year's time, I had to organize the Qatar Youth Innovation and Entrepreneurship Conference. However, after I finished organizing this event successfully, I felt empowered. Ladies and gentlemen, throughout my experience organizing events in my high school, I discovered that there are certain precepts which are common for organizing any kind of events. These precepts, ladies and gentlemen, are none other than the seven precepts for successful event organization. Precept number one, find mentors. A wise man learns from his mistakes, but a wiser man learns from other people's mistakes. When you are organizing an event, it is important to be the wiser man, to find a mentor who would teach you about other people's mistakes so that you would not repeat them. A mentor is a committed and trustworthy advisor who would guide you in your event organization process. He would tell you what is the right thing to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, having a mentor whenever you organize an event is very helpful because it saves a lot of time that you would have spent Googling for the right thing to do or learning through trial and error. Precept number two, find partners and sponsors. Two can go beyond where one can go. An effective partnership can take your events to heights that are unreachable when you organize an event alone. So whenever you think about organizing an event, it is very important for you to approach individuals and organizations who want to achieve what you want to achieve. These organizations and individuals can help you organize your event by either providing financial aid or by helping you with publicity, or they can help you by lending their staff. Also, it is important to find sponsors, individuals who are generous enough to donate sums of money that would take loads off your budget. With that said though, it is important that whenever you find a partner or sponsor, that you as an event organizer review your agreements with them meticulously because there are some people who are selfish and they may end up giving less and taking more. So it is important as an event organizer that you always look for win-win relationships. As much, no matter how passionate we as event organizers become, it is very important for us to remember the golden truth. A failure to plan is a plan to fail. Planning is so important in event organization, ladies and gentlemen, because it's only when you plan you know what you can do and what you cannot do. And knowing what you can do in time will help you invest your time and resources wisely into things that would yield success, rather than wasting your time on things that you will realize is a failure later. This is a strategy that I found very useful when I organize my events. It is, I call it the why, what, and how strategy. First, you begin with finding your purpose, what do you want to accomplish with the event, and then you think about how you're going to meet this purpose. What are you going to do to meet that purpose? What is the type of audience you want to have? What is the speaker list that you're going to have in the event? And then it is important to think about the steps that you're going to take to meet the goals that you thought for your event. Precept number four, find team members. For most of us, organizing an event is, is not something that we do for a living. And that is why it is important for us to have an effective team that would take the load off our back. The stress that most of us have before we begin to organize an event is nothing compared to the stress that would build up in the days to come as the day for your event comes near. So that is why it is important to have a team of talented individuals who would take that stress off your back so that you as an event organizer can do what you're supposed to do efficiently that is, to manage the event, the big picture. 
A, a team with an excellent skill set is as useless as having a team that does not have a good skill set if they lack these traits. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, it is important that whenever you look for a team to help with organizing your event, you look for individuals that have these traits. Look for friendly individuals who would strengthen the bond of your team and would not bring divisions. Look for diligent individuals who put their heart and soul into accomplishing what you want to accomplish. Look for excellent people who have a record of doing things to the best of their ability so that you don't need to intervene and overlook what they're doing at every single step. Look for trustworthy individuals who would stay committed to your event, to your vision, no matter how tough time gets. And look for selfless individuals, individuals who would place their commitment to you and your event above what they want to do them for themselves. Precept number six, execute properly. Executing the process of event organization improperly is as good as not planning at all. In event organization, ladies and gentlemen, each step has a certain time and a certain order in which it must be executed. This diagram that I've put on the slide is uh, the diagram which shows the basic timeline for the most general type of events, which is concerts and conferences. Notice in this diagram, that if I take one block and put it in the wrong place, the entire structure is going to lose its balance and collapse. That is how the process of organizing an event is. Each step has a designated place, and if you change the order in which you execute them in a way that will take the balance of the structure, the entire event can come to a failure, or there may be a lot of problems in, while you're organizing the event. And finally, as an event organizer, having these skills can be very helpful. By people skills, I refer to the skills of knowing how to build relationships with people, how to interact with speakers, how to speak to your participants and other guests. By organizational skills, I'm referring to the skills of knowing how to deal with issues in an organized way before they could become huge problems that could bring your entire event down. And by leadership skills, I refer to the skill of knowing how to deal with your team, when to intervene, and when to trust them to do things on their own without you having to intervene, and how to confront a team member who does not, do some, who does not meet his expectations. All these skills fall under organizational skills, and lead, uh, which is very important as an event organizer. Now, using these precepts, it is in your power to accomplish something great. Wisely executing all these precepts that I have shared with you will help you have a successful event whenever you are asked to create an event, be it a conference, a concert, or a convention. Good luck and happy event organizing.